Good morning, Jillian here from Super You with another Super You life hack. Today I want to talk about hydration. And I know I've talked about this one before, but today I have a specific little life hack to help you make sure you're getting the hydration you need. So here's the thing, your body is like 60 to 70% water. And so if you, if you aren't getting water in and you are losing water all the time through respiration, through elimination, um, you're losing water all the time through sweating. <laughs> How did I miss that one? Um, so you're losing water all the time. So it's really important that you're also getting water in. So here's where people I tend to get kind of overwhelmed and they're like, ah, I need to drink so much water. So the general rule of thumb that floats around is about half of your body weight in ounces every single day. So you take your body weight in pounds and take half of that and drink that many ounces every day if you can. But what where people get a little overwhelmed is that they assume that that needs to be all water. You know, and great if you want to kind of tackle it that way, sure. Um, but also consider that there are other means for you to get your water. So you're going to be getting your water through um, any soups that you're intaking, broth. Um, you're going to get your water through smoothies. You're going to get your water through juices if you're drinking juices. Um, you're also getting water through very hydrating vegetables like lettuce, celery. Um, so all of those really, um, cucumbers are great examples. So if you're eating a really varied diet that includes lots of vegetables, vegetables and lots of fruit, you're getting a lot of hydration that way as well. So you are getting it through your food. So as a safeguard though, I tend to still consider that kind of four, half of my body weight ish in ounces ish a day in getting in, that in in water or herbal teas or um, even coffee or caffeinated beverages to a certain extent up to one or two cups doesn't start to dehydrate you too much. How do you know if you're dehydrated or you're getting enough? The good, the best rule of thumb, honestly, is that when you go to the bathroom, <laughs> it should be a very pale color of, of yellow, unless you are also taking vitamins, and then that, that just changes the whole thing. <laughs> but um, you should have very pale color of urine when you use the washroom. So that's kind of a good rule of thumb. If you're finding you're getting um, really sluggish mid-afternoon, that's a really big sign of dehydration. If you're getting headaches, certainly that's a sign of dehydration. And the point at which you feel those symptoms coming on, that's actually past the point of being dehydrated. So now you're, you're kind of playing catch up um, and a lot of times when they start people start drinking as much water as they need they feel they're, they're kind of always racing off to the bathroom that's because your body's still trying to accommodate and get used to taking that water in so give your body some time to adjust and it will get better so here's my life hack as to how to make it happen because I hear a lot of people like I know I should drink more water it just doesn't seem to happen I am all about having a pretty bottle or having a functional bottle or maybe having both I like to use these which is just a one liter mason jar. That really works well if I'm at home. If I'm out and about, usually I don't tend to bring a mason jar with me. I'll tend to, to, to bring a water bottle with me. Um, what I like about a mason jar is that I know exactly how much fits in here. That's a liter. And I know for me to feel my best, what I've played around with, if I drink four of these a day, I feel my best. So here's my hack though. So I make sure I get them. See these elastics? I'm gonna show you what I do with them. Da, 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 da. How can I show you? Oh, there we go. I put them over the top of the mouth and then every single time I finish a bottle, there's four of my elastics because I can actually lose, tack, <laughs> lose count. Even I know it's only four, but I lose count. So here's what I do. I put them around the top. I don't even notice them. I'm drinking. Um, and then I take an elastic off every single time I drink a liter. I drink four throughout the day. My goal by the end of the day is have no elastics on there. And then I put them back on the next morning. Um, you could do the exact same hack with your favorite water bottle you could do it with any sort of bottle or glass if just figure out how much volume you need in a day and play around with it you're going to figure out what works best for you and find that what that bottle figure out how many ounces are in it and then figure out how many a day you should try to have find that balance to the point where you are you know when you go to the bathroom it's a very pale color of urine and you're generally feeling hydrated and great and then put your elastics on you could even get fun and have like, I have, I tried to pick some different colored elastics. That's kind of boring, but you could get fun elastics. Um, I know people have used um, hair elastics um, of different colors just to make it a little bit more interesting. Also handy if you need to put your hair up. Anyways, I'm now rambling. That is my life hack for you today. That is your tip Tuesday. Um, I see a couple of you popped on. So if anybody has any questions, feel free to pop those below. Um, if I don't get to them live, then I will um, answer them uh, on the replay. 
anyways have a fantastic Tuesday uh, here in Nanaimo it is quite Novembery out <laughs> I'm wearing a tank top I'm on being optimistic um, it's May people <laughs> but uh, have a fantastic day oh uh, such a great idea PS nice to meet you in person oh it was really nice to meet you too Sarah thanks for popping on here um, I love that elastic tip I, I stole that from somebody else but I've taken that one on and I use that one regularly for myself and it's such a great tip um, so glad you enjoyed it have a fantastic day guys and we will catch you next Tuesday have a good one.